Craig were people using steroids in those days? Oh, sure. Uh, some used them, some didn't use yeah. them. Yeah, it's steroids are taken uh, eight or nine to ten weeks before a competition. You could have died. Were you scared? I was very scared. Arnold Schwarzenegger is making headlines due to an emergency open heart surgery. Former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is talking about some open heart surgery that he had that went from routine to very serious. Developing news, former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger proves his might after undergoing emergency open heart surgery. The 76 year old is facing scrutiny with many fans speculating that years of steroid use have taken a toll on his health. So. The question arises, did Arnie's bodybuilding wreck his heart, or was it really the steroids he took during his prime time? Professional bodybuilding often involves steroid use. While many still deny using steroids, golden era veterans like Frank Zane and Tom Platz, 90s mass monsters like Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler, and contemporary champions like Chris Bumstead have all admitted to using performance-enhancing drugs. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger. Did you, did you take them? I take them. I took them. Yeah, up until the competition. Arguably, the most significant figure in bodybuilding revealed his Olympia-era steroid cycle. However, over the decades, as bodybuilding grew in popularity, cardiac issues in professional bodybuilders also grew. 76-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger has also faced cardiac issues. In fact, the Arnold Classic founder has undergone not one but three heart surgeries after having had several heart surgeries. As a result, many people on the internet believe that the seven-time Mr. Olympia faced heart problems due to steroid use. This belief might be fueled by the increasing number of pro bodybuilders who have sadly met their demise due to heart attacks. Elite bodybuilders have succumbed to heart issues in recent years and more suffered heart attacks in their prime. However, are steroids responsible for Schwarzenegger's heart-related woes? or is a section of the internet jumping to conclusions? What steroids did Arnold Schwarzenegger take? Before we delve into the role steroids played in the Austrian Oaks, poor heart health, let's learn which PEDs Schwarzenegger used. While the 76-year-old had admitted to taking PEDs long ago, in May 2023, he revealed the drugs he used and how much he took. During an interview with Men's Health, the five-time Mr. Universe spoke about his PED protocol. Arnie said bodybuilders in the 70s experimented with steroids to see how much they could enhance one's physique. One of the most common questions I also get is, you know, did we take steroids? Because now, of course, drugs is such a big issue in sports. And the, the, the answer is yes. Uh, it was just in the beginning stage because bodybuilders in those days just experimented with it. But it was not illegal. Despite the experimental nature, Schwarzenegger never went on cycles without consulting a physician. The Predator star said his protocol revolved around two drugs. The first one was testosterone, popular among bodybuilders for muscle gain. 100 milligrams a week, Arnie told Men's Health, then three Dianabol a day, so that was 15 milligrams, said the former Mr. Olympia. A famous educational bodybuilding content creator who often analyzes PED protocols of bodybuilders analyzed Schwarzenegger's protocol. Derek concluded, that Schwarzenegger's cycle was mild compared to what bodybuilders take today. He pointed out that his usage of the drugs in the 70s was very different. Steroids weren't illegal until Congress passed the Anabolic Steroids Act of 1990. Schwarzenegger also stressed that he only used steroids under doctor's supervision. It's like literally borderline replacement, said MPMD. He hinted that people on testosterone replacement therapy today take what Arnie took in the 70s. The fact remains that the Austrian used less compared to today's bodybuilders. However, there is a catch. Arnold was born with a congenital heart defect. How Arnold Schwarzenegger discovered his defect. In his book, Total Recall, My Unbelievably True Life Story, Arnold Schwarzenegger wrote about his first heart surgery while also talking about his mother's heart condition. The 76-year-old wrote that Aurelia Schwarzenegger fell sick on a visit to America so the action star admitted her to a hospital despite her protests. Doctors diagnosed the Terminator star's mother with a congenital heart defect. They said her aortic valve was defective and would require surgery. Out of suspicion, doctors also checked Arnie's heart. 
the seven-time Olympia, then in his early 30s, discovered he had inherited the heart valve defect Aurelia Schwarzenegger had. Yeah, my mother had a valve problem and she died with the age of 67. And so they said, they said, well, you know, it's obviously something that is being passed down. I said, Arnold, you better get your heart checked regularly because this could also happen to you. Arnold Schwarzenegger detailed his unusual bypass surgery in 1997. It was a year unlike uh, any other year I've ever had because there was a, a, you know, great success with the movies and great success with the business. But then bang, all of a sudden there was this down where I was lying in a hospital with a heart operation. Arnie was shocked to learn he had become a bodybuilding champion despite a defective heart. However, doctors assured him that corrective surgery would save his life as he got older. The bodybuilding icon continued to progress in his career, starred in films, did his stunts and maintained an impressive physique until he turned 50. In 1997, doctors determined Arnie would require surgery. The then 50-year-old contacted Dr. Vaughan Starnes, who promised to use an organic valve that would not impair the Hollywood icon's ability to perform intense physical activity. Before I turned 50, I had the heart surgery. This is the first time where I felt kind of like vulnerable, where all of a sudden the doctor says, you know, you shouldn't lift it heavy anymore. You might be wondering why the 76-year-old needed his other two additional surgeries in quick succession. The reason for the follow-up open heart surgeries. In 2018, the former governor of California required another surgery. This time, the bodybuilding icon required pulmonary valve surgery. In 1997, doctors switched Arnie's pulmonary valve in place of his failing aortic valve. They used another human donor valve to replace the pulmonary one. However, after two decades, the donor valve had to be replaced. But his second surgery happened because of how doctors chose to perform the first one in 1997. Arnold said, Thanks to the team at the Cleveland Clinic, I have a new aortic valve to go along with my new pulmonary valve from my last surgery. The third surgery was an aortic valve re-replacement. The original pulmonary valve, which was switched to the aortic position, showed signs of wear and tear. In 2020, Arnie replaced it, with the new state to last another 10 to 15 years. In March 2024, he again unexpectedly found himself in a hospital bed due to his heart's health. This time, he has a pacemaker fitted to his chest. Last Monday, I had surgery for a pacemaker and became a little bit more of a machine. I have to tell you, just saying this to, to all of you, goes against so much of my upbringing in Austria, where nobody ever talked about medical issues. I want you to know I'm doing great. I had my surgery on Monday and by Friday I was already at a big environmental event with my friend and fellow fitness crusader Jane Fonda. Despite Austria's upbringing where nobody ever talked about medical issues, Schwarzenegger chose transparency with his audience. Arnold wants to do better. Taking steroids and struggling with a congenital heart condition Arnold realizes that overdoses of drugs can have catastrophic results, as bad as death due to cardiac arrest. He acknowledges that many won't heed his warnings against steroids. After all, they played a role in his ascent from bodybuilding to Hollywood. Nevertheless, he's committed to advocating the right message. Don't go there, he warns of drugs. Yes, we are at a time now where we always look for the easy way to make money, the fast way to get rich, the easy way to be an influencer. Anytime you abuse the body, you're going to regret it later. I want young people to know that I have seen people getting kidney transplants and suffering tremendously from it. It's clear that steroids did not play a role in Schwarzenegger's second or third surgeries. Instead, Schwarzenegger replaced aging valves with new ones. We'll never know if the bodybuilding icon's steroid usage accelerated the degradation of his original aortic valve. The 76-year-old would have required surgery to replace it sooner or later in life. After an in-depth look at Schwarzenegger's PED cycles, genetic heart defect, and the circumstances behind three heart surgeries, it's safe to say steroids were not the main culprit.